it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So Halloween and Thanksgiving are just around the corner and that means you're probably planning a little party or get together. And today's recipe is gonna be perfect for any gathering all season long. Today I'm gonna make these no bake pumpkin pie shooters. So this little treat involves three different fillings. We're gonna make a very light and airy marshmallow meringue filling. We're gonna add some ginger snap cookie crumbs and then of course the no-bake pumpkin pie filling. So this little treat is so easy to make and it's fantastic. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. I like to start with my pumpkin pie filling first. So into a large saucepan, I'm gonna add in three egg yolks along with one cup of sweetened condensed milk. And I'm gonna add in one envelope of gelatin powder. This is plain, unflavored gelatin. And this little packet has a quarter of an ounce. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in over my sweetened condensed milk and egg yolk. And next, I'm gonna add in all my spices. So I have half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, I have a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle those in. And give this a good whisk. I'm gonna take my mixture over to the stove top and I'm gonna cook it over medium low heat for about eight to 10 minutes. You wanna make sure you're stirring it constantly until that mixture thickens into a nice custard. I just finished cooking my custard and you see how nice and thick it is? That's just the way we need it to be. Just make sure you scrape down the sides of the pan while you're cooking it so you don't get any clumps. And now I'm gonna add in my pumpkin. So I'm using 15 ounces of pure pumpkin puree. I'm gonna use a spatula and just fold all that together. And our pumpkin pie filling is all done. So I'm just gonna set this aside and let it cool at room temperature until I'm ready to use it to assemble my dessert. And now onto our crust. So today I'm gonna to be using about 20 ginger snap cookies. I'm gonna place them into my food processor. And I'm gonna give them a whirl until they form fine crumbs. Next, I'm gonna pour in 1 4th cup of melted butter. And this butter is just really gonna bring all those crumbs together. And then give that another whirl. And our crumbled crust filling is all ready. And now for our final filling ingredient, a meringue. So into a small little saucepan, I'm gonna add in 3 4 cup of white granulated sugar, along with 1 3rd cup of water. And I'm gonna take this over to the stove top and I'm gonna cook it over a low medium heat. You don't wanna stir it, so you don't want any sugar crystals to form on the sides. And you need to cook this uh, sugar mixture until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna add in my three egg whites into my mixer bowl. And make sure your mixer bowl is very, very clean. Make sure it doesn't have any oily or any other residue on it. And so when my sugar mixture is about to reach 240 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna turn on my mixer. And I'm gonna whisk the egg whites until they're light and fluffy. I recommend using a digital thermometer for measuring the temperature of your sugar syrup so you get to exactly 240 degrees. My sugar syrup is already, it's reached 240 degrees Fahrenheit and I've pre-whisked my egg whites to soft peaks and now I'm gonna pour in the sugar syrup in at a slow pace and whisk it at the same time. And I'm gonna turn my mixer up to high speed and beat the egg whites and the sugar syrup until I have a very light and fluffy meringue. I've whisked my meringue for about seven minutes now and it looks really light and fluffy, almost like a marshmallow. And at the end, I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla extract for a bit of flavor and give that a whisk for another couple minutes. After all that mixing, this is what your meringue should look like. It should have almost like a marshmallow cream texture and that's when you know it's ready. So now I'm just gonna transfer it into my pastry bag and we're gonna get to assembling our desserts. And now for assembling a dessert. So today I'm using these plastic shot glasses that I found at Party City, but really any type of little container is gonna work perfect for this dessert. So I've transferred uh, both my pumpkin filling and my meringue into pastry bags. So I'm gonna pipe a little bit of the pumpkin filling to the bottom of my glasses here. And you want just a little bit at a time. Next, I'm gonna spoon in a little bit of the ginger snap crust that we prepared earlier. Just sprinkle about a teaspoon and a half into each glass. And now I'm ready to add the meringue. So I'm gonna pipe a little layer of that as well. And now I'm gonna repeat the same process and fill my little dessert cups to the top. And 
And I'm gonna finish these off with a generous amount of meringue frosting on top. And that's it for fun little no-bake pumpkin pie shooters. So what I love about this recipe is you can serve them right away, or if you have a, your party planned for later, just keep them refrigerated and take them out when you're ready to eat them. And when you're serving these, serve them with small little cocktail spoons so your guests are able to get every last little bite out of the shooters. And now it's time to give it a try. So I just take a spoon and scoop it down so you get a little bit of everything. You wanna get a combination of all three layers. Mmm. These little pumpkin pie shooters taste like the dreamiest, creamiest pumpkin pie you have ever had. I love that the marshmallow meringue just melts in your mouth and the ginger snap gives it just this phenomenal spicy flavor and the pumpkin pie filling is perfection. It's just to die for good. So next time you're having a little party or get together, include these little pumpkin shooters with the desserts and everybody is gonna love them. And I love that they're not messy. There's no pie to scoop. You just grab one of these little shooters and you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.